Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have an application I'm excited to share with you. I've been working on this thing for a year, year and a half, something like that. So let's check it out. All right, some of the things you can do with this app is, of course, my favorite, changing the resolution, increasing the resolution. You can max out your CPU and your GPU for better performance at the cost of battery life, or you can decrease the CPU and GPU to improve your battery life. You can record 2D videos onto your computer. You can cast wirelessly and record 2D videos. You can record 3D videos. So this will record 3D videos and it will process them for you. So you can upload them to YouTube and they'll be in 3D. You can take screenshots. You can copy your the videos and the screenshots also that you take from the device. You can have it move that onto your computer so that you can free up some space. There's some gaming utilities, like you can set your Pavlov VR gamer tag. You can uh, delete your Blaze Rush config file if you have Blaze Rush and you have it working on your Quest or if you have it on the go and you increase the resolution on your device. The only way to increase the resolution in Blaze Rush is to delete the config file and then relaunch Blaze Rush. It'll make higher resolution config. You can back up your apps. You can back them all up at once or you can back them up individually if there's only a few that you want to back up it'll show you a list of what you have installed it'll also resolve the names from the package names to the common names so that it makes sense you can also uninstall all of your apps with the option to back them all up first you can back up your minecraft skins and maps and whatever else is in the, the games folder for minecraft you can restore all of these you have the option to restore them all together or just restore the data restore the ob or just reinstall the app or all three and more so let's check this out all right the app is called ocular migraine or the ocular migraine you can call it either launch it it pops up in this window in this huge window with the space bar all right so it opens up to this screen right here and of course you this is for people that are familiar with side loading you open up to this screen plug in your device and you'll notice up top it says hollywood battery 97 ip address and how much free space is on it so Hollywood is the proper name of the device. That's the battery level, 97, the IP address, and free space, which I thought was useful. So, of course, you can visit me on YouTube. It'll prompt you to subscribe to me. That's option zero. Option R is resolution. You can set a custom res resolution, custom texture resolution. You know, like, let's say you want 2048. Bam, it's now 2048 by 2048. Now, let's say you want to go back to default resolution. Just press number two and it detects which device you have, and then it sets it to the default resolution for that device. Go back to main menu, video. You can record video uh, internally using Android, the Android recorder, internal video recorder. It's limited to three minutes, but as soon as it's done recording, it will then copy it onto your computer. Cast the screen, 2D casting, if you do see. It asks you for the bit rate, let's do 15. Now, for some reason, you can't see anything without launching an app. All right, so here we go. I am launching, uh, yeah, Pinball, and you can see that. You can even go full screen like this. What else can we do? Uh, you can cast N, does casting, and just cast the full screen. And this is useful if you want to capture something. This is useful if you want to capture something like, you just want to capture this window, maybe like with OBS, and you want to do something else with it you can set the custom internal video bitrate recording by default the quest or the go will record at five megabits uh, this command works on all of them on uh, the quest one quest two or the go let's say you want to record at 25 megabits bam now it'll record internally at 25 megabits you want to set a custom recording resolution press r so let's say you want to do 720 by 1280 so you would do 1280 720 now it will record at 720 by 1280 you want to record a 3D video, option three, set the bit rate you want to record at. And so it's recording like this, all right, and then you close it when you're done with the X and it will open up, it will open up this window. And then what you can do is, this is the window of the recording that it just made. And then what you can do is you can process it, which is option P, process 3D video file. So you have to know what IPD, not IP, like what IPD setting, it was a medium, narrow, or wide. I think mine is set to, oh, that was set to 
narrow. I usually do medium. So you select, for example, I did this at narrow. So I'll select narrow, which is option three. Drag and drop it, press enter. If you have a compatible NVIDIA GPU encoder, say yes, it'll use a GPU to encode. I do, so I'm going to otherwise say no. It's encoding it. And now it will put it in a folder that says processed for YouTube. And it will open the folder again. And then you can upload this to YouTube and it will actually sh end up showing up in 3D in YouTube. Uh, it sometimes takes like 24 hours for YouTube to finish processing these 3D videos. I don't know why, but it will work. And then you can share that with people. So you can go back to the video menu. You can record 2D with screen copy. So you want to do 25. There we go. It's recording this right now. And you close it and it will open. There we go. That's what we just recorded. What else do we got? Toggle full frame rate for the Oculus Quest recording, internal Oculus Quest recording, or go. Uh, zero is disabled, one is enabled. By default, it records at half the display refresh rate. If you want to move your videos, your videos and screenshots from your device to the PC, press X. It's going to copy it over. Boom. There we go. Uh, Hollywood, that's Quest 2. I already copied all my stuff off of it, so there's nothing in here right now. Open the video folder of this application. Now there's 2D stuff that we recorded. There's screen copy and it will create an, a folder named internal for anything that you recorded using the internal Android capture option with. Go back to main menu, performance. You can set the fixed foveated rendering level, option one, one through four. Uh, you can toggle fixed, you can toggle dynamic fixed foveated rendering. So that's the, by default it's enabled. So. Let's see, you can set the GPU and the CPU level. So three and four. I didn't change it to anything, so. Main menu, again, let's see. Application management, this is one that I spent a lot of time in. I worked on this part really hard. You can sideload stuff, so let's do sideload, S, sideload. Just drag and drop an APK file onto this window. Let's see, for example, drag and drop this APK file. Bam, now it's installed. What else can we do? Generate a list of installed user applications. Press L. This will take a moment because it's not just pulling up the package names. It's actually resolving the package names. There we go. It has a list of package names with the associated application name. And the benefit of that is you know if you want to uninstall something, you know what it's called. For example, uninstall an application, you, you have to type in the package name. So let's say I want to uninstall this one right here that I just installed. Copy it, paste it. Oh, and it'll ask you if you want to make a backup first. I already have a backup. I don't need to do it. Bam, it's uninstalled. What else you can do? Backups, you can backup specific ones. Uh, B, backup specific APK files. Let me see. Let's back up big screen, okay? I'm just going to copy the package name right here. Com.bigscreenvr.bigscreen. And then I'm going to paste it here. And it is backing up the APK and then it's gonna back up the data and ob folders. Even if they're empty, it's just gonna back them up. All right, here we go. Uh, if you wanna restore any of these backups, there is a restore bat file in the backup folder. Just double click on it, and it will give you the option to, it will give you the option to restore. Number one is restore app and data and ob. Number two is restore data only. Number three is install app only. Or number four is restore ob only. So like, let's just do, it's not gonna remove it if it's already there. So we are installing big screen beta again. We're just reinstalling it. We're not erasing it. So nothing's gonna change on my device really. All right, and now it's installed and that disappears. So you can literally uninstall all your applications. Check it out. You can UA, I'm not gonna do it cause I don't wanna uninstall my applications right now, but you can uninstall all your applications. And if you have a device that you're trying to save space on, you can just uninstall all your applications. It'll first ask you if you want to back them all up. And if you say yes, which I would recommend doing, you can back up all of your APK files. In fact, you know what? Let's just do, let's back up all my APK files. Where is the backup D? Back up all user applications. Let's do that right now. It's gonna take a moment. Oh, press enter to continue or C to cancel. All right, my bad. I just uh, messed that up. I just fixed it there. Okay, D, back up all user applications. Press yes to continue or C to cancel. Yes. Now it's gonna work. Sorry guys, any like things that don't work on this or any bugs, I tried testing this thing over and over and over and over and over and over. I spent like a week testing it when I thought I was done with it. Found a few things I'd missed or little mistakes. So I'm sure there's probably gonna be some more. Let me know, I will fix them. 
So this is going to take a few minutes. It's going to back up all the APK files first, and then it's going to back up all the OB and data folders. So just relax, drink some coffee or something. I tried putting a lot of work into the GUI, making it look nice. I mean, it's not really a GUI. It's a command prompt, but it's got menus. I try to put colors in it, try to make it fancy. I had to learn a lot for all of this stuff. It took me, I learned stuff I had no clue about. Now it's backing up the OB folder after it just backed up the data folder. If you get any failed errors, it's, it's not a big deal. It's usually because something doesn't exist or maybe if it's a file name that's too weird, it can't copy it, shouldn't be a big deal. All right, that's it. it. Says now you may restore your backups by double clicking on the restore backup in the backup folder. And I think the backup folder is gonna open once I hit space. Bam. All right, there is the backup folder. So go down to, you'll find, okay, package to common names that has the application names along with the package names. Also, here's the restore backup bat file. Um, and what you can do with this, you can restore all applications or you can store a single application. So number two, and just drag and drop whatever it is you want to restore. Don't rename these APK files because it determines the ob and the data folders from the name of the APK file. Okay, so the error about statting the ob and data folders is because there aren't any uh, ob and data folders, so it's no big deal. So you can drag and drop another one if you want. Here's Wander, I think that's Wander. Okay, or if you want to restore them all, if you're like, no, I want to restore them all, just select number one. And now it will install, what it's going to do is it'll install every single APK in the directory, and then it will push the data in the op folders. This definitely takes a while. I guess it depends on what you have installed. I only have a 64 gig version, which is fine for me. I've seen a lot of people online seem to definitely prefer the 256 gig version, in which case you could have a lot longer time reinstalling your apps if it was full when you backed it up. All right, now it's pushing the ob folders. And as soon as it's done with the op folders, it will push the data folders. <clears throat> all right, it's done. I was restoring all of the applications I had on it. All right, you can also back up Minecraft VR if you have it installed. Um, option is V. It will back up Minecraft VR and the associated maps uh, in the games folder. You can just double click on restore Minecraft to, if you want to restore Minecraft VR only, Restore the maps and skins only, or restore the maps, skins, and the application, which would be number three. It's doing its thing here. Boom, and then it pushed the games folder, which contains the maps and skins. <clears throat> then you can do the restore, which I just showed you how to do it. You can open the backups folder, which is O. There we go. Hollywood is your Quest 2. The Quest 1 is Monterey, and the Oculus Go is Pacific. So here we go. We have full backups right in here. Uh, it's dated. The folder in there is dated, and then... There's all your apps, ob, and data folders, individual ones that you've done, like big screen or Minecraft when you select Minecraft. So you will go back to the main menu, miscellaneous menu. Let's see, custom ADB command. You can do custom ADB is five. So you can type like devices, ADB devices. There we go, it shows the device that's connected. One really cool thing that you can do here is W, enable wireless ADB connection. I highly recommend this, W. Make sure your device is connected. Press any key to continue. It gets the IP address. Now disconnect this. Press it again. It's gonna to try to establish a wireless connection to it. Boom. Now, if it shows the device name and the serial number, it means it's successfully connected. What's so cool about that? Well, I wouldn't really recommend doing a backup wirelessly because it'll take longer, but what is really cool is you can go and you can cast. And if you don't have a fast network, you just lower the bit rate. Let's just do five megabits. I've got a fast network, but just as an example. Okay, so check it out. Actually, let's see. All right, there we go. We are casting wirelessly. This is totally wireless. Whoops, don't do this. And look, it's like real time. See, it is totally great. And I know the quality doesn't look that good. That's because we're only at five megabits. You can set that to whatever you want. So that's a perk of doing it wirelessly. I've recorded videos on here by doing wireless casting and there was no noticeable lag. Of course there's lag, but not noticeable lag. It's like such a low amount you can't notice. What else do we have on the miscellaneous menu? Disconnect, like, okay, disconnect. Like if you're gonna plug this back in to your device because you wanna do backups, it's gonna get confused because it's gonna be connected to it wirelessly and then physically, and then it's gonna say there's multiple devices. So you'd have to press number six. So it would disconnect. It would release the wireless connection. 
Restart ADB if you're having trouble. Reboot device, R. DD is power off the device, it will power it off. HS home screen in case something weird is happening. It'll, it's like pressing home on your phone. It works great. J screenshot, here, watch this, do a screenshot. Do a J, take a screenshot. It's gonna take a screenshot and then it's gonna copy it over to the computer and open up a backup folder. Here we go, let's check out the screenshot. Boom, there is the screenshot. And that was all done wirelessly. What else do we have? Show connected devices, show battery info. Just thought that was kind of cool. Although again, I have the battery level in the title bar. Open developer settings. Uh, it doesn't always work. I think it works on the Quest 1, it works on the Go. Oculus is really locking down their devices, unfortunately, for better or worse. They have their reasons, I guess. Uh, so that may or may not work. User profile management, that used to work, but now it kind of doesn't work because if you can create a new profile, it, o Oculus like made the policies of the device so that you can't do that. So if you, you can create one and then it, it like deletes it immediately. Down with Big Brother, you can delete some, you can disable the tel telemetry, although now not all of it is delete is disabled because they are again locking down their device. And then you can re-enable the telemetry. Exit to console, see, here we go. Type exit to come back, uh, about and help, help if you want to like watch a depth tutorial about side loading, watch how to enable developer mode. Watch a video on how to use this application coming soon, which I will then just link to this video. Miscellaneous menu, uh, main menu, games utility. This is where you can set your Pavlov gamer tag. Uh, you can, anytime, like super easy to do. Um, you just type in your name, like here, I'll just do what I did already. I just changed it to Neo. Bam, Neo. Now my name is Neo in Pavlov. Delete Blaze Rush config. I've got Blaze Rush installed on here. It deletes it so that I can then increase the resolution. And that's it. All right, guys, that concludes the tutorial on how to use this app. Now the app will be developing more and more as I remember, oh yeah, I should have done this, or maybe there's a better way of implementing something. And uh, please send me emails uh, on the about page. There is my email address that you can tell me if there's a problem. Please know that there's no warranties with this. I assume no liability for what you do with this. There's no warranties with this expressed nor implied. So use this at your own risk. I'm sure there will, there will be bugs. There may be issues that I haven't run into. So please let me know when you make a backup, verify you have your backup. And if there are any problems, send me an email. I'll try to fix it and I'll continue to develop it. This was actually, <laughs> The Ocular Migraine is actually uh, an evolution of the other app that I was working on called Quest ASM, Advanced Settings Manager, which was really um, based on the work by uh, Reddit user Quake. He made a, I'll put a link in the video description, but he made a bat file for changing resolution and stuff like that based on information from Reddit user Faragabird, which is also his Oculus name. So um, yeah. That's how this all started. So again, let me know if you have any suggestions, if you run into any issues, because you probably will. I've been the only one testing this. I've been testing it a lot, but I'm sure there's things that I probably forgot or have overlooked. So let me know and I will do my best to fix things with it. And let me know if there's any features that you want me to add. Also, for some reason, for some reason, some people will, ha will get errors when they try to sideload APK files with SideQuest. I'm not sure why that is, but then if you try this app, it works fine. So I don't know why, but if you're having trouble sideloading anything, I would, I definitely recommend this app. You don't have to install it. You just unzip it, unzip the folder, double click on the Ocular Migraine bat file and you're golden. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.